Hello, you're watching The Marker Bull. I'm Rebecca Marsh, and today we're focusing on Iris Metals, and the company's chairman, Simon Lill, joins me now. Simon, welcome. Thank you, Rebecca. Nice to be here. So, Simon, where is Iris Metals at at the moment? So, Iris has been going through a recompliance process with the ASX. That's through chapters one and two, due to a change of commodity, change of jurisdiction, change of mix, change of scale, actually. So that's caused us to issue a prospectus where we've raised $15 million. The money is raised, prospectus is closing. We're going through pre-quotation issues and we expect to list by the end of next week, maybe the week after. And I understand you've had some strong support and backing from overseas investors. Yes, a company called Waratara Electric invested $1.5 million into us prior to us going through the re-compliance process. They also cornerstone the raise the tune of $2 million, so they've invested a total of $3.5 million into us. There were other North American institutions that have also invested in us as well. So what is it about this project in South Dakota that makes it so interesting? Yes, well we've got patented claims over there which are akin to West Australia's mining leases, so we're actually free to go in there and mine very quickly. We know there is lithium in the region that has previously been mined there, although all the way back in the 40s. You can see the spodumene crystals in the walls of the pits there. And you're in the US where they are clearly trying to encourage lithium activity, battery metals activity, etc. So there should be a lot of support for the project over there. So you've recently returned from South Dakota. Just tell us about your time there and, and maybe what you saw on the ground. Look, it was fascinating to walk through the pit floors and see crystals that were my size effectively, if you say 1.9 metres. I picked up a rock where it's just very easy to see the spodumene crystals in it. So we know we have spodumene, we know it's carrying lithium. Simon, thank you so much for your time today and good luck with the relisting. Thanks, Rebecca.